We don't need to tell you that on Netflix's smash romantic series Virgin River, Lauren Hammersley plays the passive-aggressive Charmaine Roberts. Lover or hater, she's here to stay. Now the funny thing is, Charmaine wasn't the character Hammersley auditioned to play. It's not unusual to get a different role than what you tried for, but this time it was super surprising. Keep watching for all the deets on what the Canadian actress said and more. First up, what character did she audition for then? Well, Lauren said that she auditioned for the role of Mel Monroe. She might be a manipulative hairstylist in the show now, but she spoke about her initial disappointment about her casting as Charmaine. After all, Virgin River does focus on the story of Mel, who's played by Alexandra Breckenridge. Mel's definitely a fan favorite, as she moves to a small town after experiencing a devastating loss in Los Angeles. Fans have come to adore that character, who's now found a job and a new romance in the Northern California town. We mean, there's really nothing to hate about her, right? But here's the thing, Mel's happiness wasn't without its own set of heartbreaks, one of which was caused by Charmaine. And now, since Lauren's known for playing cold-hearted characters, it's difficult to imagine how she could have played Mel. Next up, Hammersley speaks up about getting the role. So how did the star feel about getting the role of Jack Sheridan's ex-girlfriend, Charmaine Roberts? The actress confessed on the Chatting with B YouTube channel that after finishing work on the CBC sitcom Mr. D, she felt she'd never work again before hearing back about her audition for the Netflix series. It's a tough business, that's for sure, and Lauren had totally lost hope, too. She she actually mentioned on the podcast that she was going to make an offer on this bed and breakfast in St. John's, Newfoundland and cash in her chips. She even talked about shaving her head and getting a tattoo on her face if she wanted. But then she got a call from the show and that changed everything. When they mentioned another character named Charmaine, she read through the book and discovered she was about 10 years older than Jack. In the books, you can tell that poor Charmaine used to be really beautiful, but then having kids and the years changed her a bit. This might have been a super insulting casting, but hey, the producers told Lauren that they were rewriting the character, so that's some saving grace. This industry has a way of making your confidence go up and down, she continued. That's just the facts. Coming up, Charmaine shocked the world. After their divorce at the end of season one, Jack was surprised to hear that Charmaine was pregnant with their twins. We mean, so were we. After then, the couple has had a pretty difficult time, especially since Jack moved on with Mel. By the end of season four, they appeared to be in a good place. But then, of course, this shattered when Charmaine revealed that the twins she was carrying aren't Jack's. This totally caught us off guard, and it's good that they didn't immediately show us his reaction. This is for the best, as a lot of what he might have said would have to be censored. Coming up, why did Charmaine keep lying to Jack? So we don't know much about Charmaine's past, but we do know that she hasn't had an easy life. Her mother died of cancer, which devastated her, and Jack dragged her around for years in a doomed relationship. So when Mel came in Virgin River, and Jack fell head over heels for her, Charmaine obviously plummeted. And hey, we're not trying to excuse her reasons for lying to Jack. But still, it looks to us that she just wanted a family of her own and believed that pregnancy was the only way to get one, especially when her marriage to Todd began to fall apart. Maybe this is a bold claim to make, but her heart was in the right place. Season 5 will, thankfully, reveal Charmaine's actual motive. Showrunner Patrick Sean Smith told TV Line that he was blown away by the finale. Makes sense when you consider what the twins meant to Jack and how Charmaine pushed him into that connection for so long. Next up is the twins' father in the show too. Okay, so the writers originally intended Jack to be the father of Charmaine's twins, but this didn't really fit with Carr's books, and even the actors themselves didn't care much for that storyline. We do know, though, that the father is a semi-regular figure in the series. Initially, it was, oh, it's just some guy she had a one-night stand with, Breckenridge revealed to Glamour. But then the show changed direction again, but we don't know who the father is right now. Now, the big question is, who is the father? Many fans believe that the twins' father is Jack's friend, Detective Mike Valenzuela. Fans of the show will remember the season two episode, Can't Let Go since in the episode, Jack told Mike that Charmaine was expecting his twins. Some people were surprised by Mike's reply, and hey, it was a shady reply. He looked stunned and uncomfortably chuckled before continuing, I didn't know you were still seeing her. Let's look at how Lauren Hammersley reacted to the finale. So Lauren claimed that she only found out about the big plot twist a few weeks before filming the show. She assumed they were Jack's the entire time, and then when the last episode came out, she was as shook as the rest of us. Next up, what new characters have joined the series? Naturally, there will be a few fan favorites who will appear again and again during the next season. For now, no major new cast members have been announced for the fifth season.
season. While Netflix head of drama Ginny Howe has promised TV Line that the show would be more inclusive in season 5. It goes without saying that that's a much needed step. That's not all, as according to TV Line, Greek showrunner Patrick Sean Smith has been recruited to spearhead Virgin River ahead of season 5. But coming up, when will the fifth season of Virgin River be released? The fifth season of Virgin River has been filming since July, according to Annetto Tools Instagram. What's on Netflix claims that filming will end in November, so be ready folks, because season 5 is on schedule for a summer 2023 premiere. But for now, we don't have an exact release date, and naturally, it's hard to predict when the series will be available on the site. Netflix has done well by releasing it over the summer months, so they'll most likely stick to their 2021 and 2022 plans unless something halts production. Moving on, what will the fifth season of Virgin River be about? After a messy season 4, in which Jack and Mel fight whether or not to find out if Mel's baby's biological father is Jack or her late husband Mark, the two are now finally happy. A paternity test proved that the baby is Jack's, and he proposed to Mel before the couple even got the results. But then the couple's happiness is marred by the discovery that Charmaine's twins aren't Jack's. While this frees him from Charmaine's grip, it also makes him feel responsible for the boys, regardless of who their biological father is. It's not a great place to be in. Poor Jack just gets one tough situation after the next to deal with. In other news, Brady was cleared in Jack's shooting, and it was discovered that the shooter was Wes. He then started dating Bree, so let's see how their relationship goes. And then there's Preacher, who finally freed Paige and her kid Christopher from Vince, but he's still split between Paige and Julia romantically. Make up your mind, man. And then, there are the two lovebirds, Doc and Hope. They've spent the whole season dealing with Hope's post-car accident brain injuries, and they're now on the verge of another family health catastrophe. Denny's diagnosed with Huntington's disease, which throws a wrench into Denny's love triangle with Lizzie and Ricky. We also met with Melissa Montgomery, the boss of the drug ring. Let's see where that storyline leads. Finally, where can you watch Virgin River? So if you've forgotten where you used to watch this feel-good drama, don't worry, Virgin River is still a Netflix exclusive, and while you wait for season 5, you can binge all four seasons of the series from the comfort of your own home. To get the most bang for your soapy buck, you'll have to stay with a subscription plan, and for those passing the time until they can have more Jack and Mel goodness in their lives, the monthly subscription costs are definitely worth it. After all, Ginny Howe promised fans that the series will continue to develop in many ways. Much of this was built up in the season 4 finale, but it'll still be fun to watch it all come to a head in season 5, and some of the drama and flair that we'll get to see from the new love triangles. Well, that's a wrap for this video. Can you see Lauren Hammersley as Charmaine? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one, and thanks for watching.